Hello and welcome to Trackmania Turbo. I'm Aki Dobling and this is Good Morning Trackmania. And that right there is a wall. But yeah, today let's talk about sports. Sports, sports, sports. So not much sports is going on right now. We have the EU 2016. We have Formula 1. We have cycling. We also have Wimbledon. I don't really care about Wimbledon, but it's there right now. And I imagine tennis fans be pretty excited for the Wimbledon being the biggest tournament in tennis history, probably, probably also depending on who you are. But yeah, let's just quickly go over some new 2016. Yesterday, we had a great match against yeah, not against, but with Wales and Belgium, where Wales, of course, won. A bit surprising, a bit of an upset, but Belgium just didn't show up for that match. And that's just what what can happen, I guess. On match day, you won't show up, and you then lose to a team as Wales, who is always going to show up. They're just like... Iceland and Leicester, they are always going to show up to the match because they have the team spirit that everybody needs, that Belgium and it also seems like England is missing. I don't know if England were actually missing it. They just seem like a wick of nerves, but it, it didn't feel like the same with Belgium. They just seemed like tactics and team spirit. And Wales got plenty of team spirit, so they they just did it. Sadly, Wales don't uh, don't have Aaron Ramsey in the next match, and he played really really well today, and he could be really useful against Portugal, who sadly also made it on without winning a game so far in the regular time. They have made it to the semis. That's very irritating to me, but okay. It's not a lot to do about it, from my point of view. It's kind of hard to... I, I kind of like that this, they have expanded the use, but... It's just that, that we can go on from a group stage now without winning a match in the group stages. But that's just the way it is now. Yeah. Poland against Portugal, we're pretty... I guess I actually didn't watch much of it, but it seemed like a fairly boring match. Where they had one half each. Yeah, but that goal by Gomez was pretty decent. Wasn't he? Isn't he called Gomez? Or Sanchez? Something like that? Have I completed this track at all? No. Good. I don't need to complete tracks to win them, in my mind, for some reason. Yeah. Oh, we have the big match today also. So Germany against Italy. I'm just looking so much forward to that. I'm so hyped. That's going to be a great match, I think. Hopefully. I don't really know. But in other sports today, we have the Tour de France. Which is hopefully also going to be fairly exciting. Even though I doubt it's going to be that exciting today. With the sprinting stage. You know, it's probably going to be exciting for like the last half hour of it. 20 minutes, 10 minutes, depending on who you are and what your temper is. So yeah. But I, I don't know, I think Kittle is going to win today. It's going to be him or Greipel or Cavendish. Greipel, he, you know, he's going to take it if Kittle's team doesn't show up. Or if Kittle had has any accidents or something, I feel like it might be fairly. Uh, there might be a big difference between Cavendish and Gravel right now in their sprinting abilities. Gravel just does not seem to lose any of his sprinting power. Our uh, Cavendish have seemed to have lost most of his. You know that famous Cavendish kick it does not seem to exist anymore. Sadly for him. But that's just the way it seems to be. 
Yeah, what else? Oh yeah, let's talk about who's going to win the overall. Success among me of Twitter Banks. Of course, I think it's going to be Pandana. It's mostly just because I like that dude. He seems so chill and cool. A bit more cool than what Chris Froome is. Chris Froome always seems a very private person. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it's, it just doesn't resonate with the audience as much as someone from a foreign country who kind of tries to seem like a nice guy all the time. He also kind of got that great smile that we all love and like about great writers. I don't think Contadoris is going to do any be any real times. Of course he's going to try some kind of crazy attack because he's just not he's just not the great writer he was once upon a time in the big mountain stages. He's definitely going to lose time there. He's probably not going to be able to get it back because Team Sky is just too too strong. And that's like Froome's big advantage advantage. He got such a strong just such a strong team behind him. And so it's probably going to be Froome. The more I think about it, the more I just think it's going to be Froome. And I'm a bit sad about that. But what to do? What really to do? But let's talk about another sport. You know, there was also Formula 1 today. And that's going to be not that exciting, probably. It's probably going to be Nico or Lewis on the pole position. But yeah, that's just the way it is. Hopefully Ferrari can make it in to the top three and not be too far behind. Like, have to be two or three tenths behind and then I think they can do something in the race, hopefully. And uh, hopefully uh, Westberg is going to be on pole because I kind of hope that he will win this year's championship. Not because I think he's a better driver than Lewis, just because I don't like him to dominate a sport. That's like my only reason to be an eco fan. There's nothing really special about him. Not like such a, such a driver as Dedo Ricciardo. Ricardo is a great driver, with a great smile all the time. And I'm really looking forward to Red Bull being a better team, which they're probably going to be next year. The Renault engine seems to have improved a lot. And they're not like a... That we might be, a, let's say, a second behind the Mercs now. In pace, I think. Something around that. And I think Red Bull got the best uh, chassis on the entire... The entire grid. That's for the that's the word people was looking for. Right. But I don't know. And Ferrari seems to be like pretty good engine engine and a pretty decent chassis. So they are kind of hard to predict where they're going to be. They seem to have one of the better race set up too. And so if they can be fairly close to the mix then they definitely have a chance to take it all, you know. I say they, I probably only mean Fevel, because he's just so much better than Kimi right now. You know Kimi is probably one of the more entertaining drivers in the, fee, in the grid, on the grid. He's never been afraid of taking people on the outside, and that's always entertaining, and he has that good answer where he say, Rawr. That's just that's a great answer to every question in life, right? <laughs> I cannot say it like him. He says it's so unmotivated. It's great. What? I gained no places. Come on. But yeah. There's also the HDDQ this weekend. HDDQ. ADDQ. A awesome games done quick. ADDQ. Right. This weekend, and I'm really hyped. I'm always hyped for these events. They're always extremely exciting to me. And hopefully we will get some good games. But well, let's skip this. And talk about this track. 
just for a little bit. Just geek out a bit over this track. Let's hope that. Oh, it's one of these tracks. Oh shit, I had to turn. Okay, I thought it was one of those tracks where you have to press forward for like the first 10 seconds. That to me is just a waste of time. Oh, so we have a loop. When you get into a loop in this game, you have to try and be as straight as possible. Uh, uh, where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to go more to the left? I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to go over here? It's kind of hard to see anything. Oh! Oh, that seems interesting. So, okay. We have to probably make it through the loop. Once something to gain enough speed for that. That's actually a fairly interesting concept. Never seen that before. See if one time is fast enough. So, you, oh, and you have that one up there. Okay, one time is definitely fast enough. Okay. And you then have to be precise after all of the last corner. Okay. Okay. So, when you make it into a loop, you kind of want to aim a bit at where you want to go afterwards. Can I? Make this it this time. No, this one of this seems to be a bit more to the right. But yeah, if you want to, a lot of time you want to be as straight as possible, but still a bit. You still need to be a bit turned if you want to go into this. But yeah, that was three seconds quicker. And I don't believe it would be any quicker to do it twice. So I kind of, I did not make this that quick that last time. So you kind of want to go up to this loop and just turn the slightest bit to the left when you are up there. So you can make it to the outside of this and not lose too much time. I tried to turn a bit more to the right this time just to be sure that I will make it into the coal line. <laughs> I had a bit more speed that time, so I got two tenths more on my track. Two tenths more, I guess two tenths less is the better way to say it. Oh, can I make this? Yeah, just made it. I'm not really sure that it's quicker. I turn a bit more in the end than I would have preferred. Yeah, it wasn't green. But it was worth a try. This is the infuriating thing with tracks like this. Is you cannot really know if you're quicker before the absolute end. I think I did wrong this time. You know, I think that would have probably been faster. So that kind of sucked. But hey, sometimes you gotta suck to be the best, I guess. Failure breeds success. Or oh, success breeds success. One of those. Oh shit, what happened there? Why did my car turn that much? I don't know. I didn't know. And let's try and make it down. Can I do this? Oh. I think that was pretty decent actually, but I just could not make it past the wall. But I think I got the right angle in this place. I had to turn a bit to the left to correct my, my my steering, I guess. And that really messed it up for me. That is just way too far to the right. But I gotta take some chances to be able to beat my own time now. And that's when the mistakes come. Oh, I don't like that exit. You kind of don't get enough speed to actually do this loop. And this, this will be it for this episode. Thank you for watching and let's figure out if I'm going to win or not. Before I say... Say? Say? Bye bye, I won. <laughs>